what's up man cave collectible reviews here today uh with a new toy hunt you know it's that time of uh, the week again and we got to get back to it because we got a lot of stuff we're needing to find right now we are uh you know hunting that tmnt four pack we're hunting motu origins that we uh got some holes we got to fill in we're hunting uh mot wwe masters of the wwe universe figures we got some holes to fill there granted we have filled a good many of those holes lately uh, through online purchases and that type of thing which we'll take a look at those in the next haul video if you haven't checked if you haven't checked out my most recent haul video you should certainly check that out it posted about a week ago maybe a little more uh, but some really cool stuff has come in to the man cave some uh, vintage stuff some new stuff as well uh, but but cool stuff so definitely check out my haul video if you hadn't we had a really cool toy hunt last week at Retro Toys and Collectibles. Uh, that's a cool shop out in Cherubin, North Carolina. Have a lot of vintage stuff, a lot of modern stuff as well. Uh, but I'm, I'm loving the vintage stuff. That's kind of what it's about, is uh, finding that cool vintage stuff when you're going to toy shops. Also, we are uh, continuing to approach 5,000 subscribers. Uh, so, you know, as we've said before, we're going to kind of embed, uh, little details about the 5,000 subscriber giveaway into our toy hunt videos. So I'll go ahead and tell you here now, if you don't follow me on Instagram, man cave collectible reviews on Instagram, uh, you will not be able to be part of the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So I want everyone to go over and follow me on Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram, go get you an Instagram. It's, uh, it's pretty cool as far as, uh, you know, especially if you're into toys and stuff, there's just so many cool folks out there to follow uh, from a toy standpoint. Um, you know, if you're just not into anything else, and I'm not, if you go check, you know, my Instagram, the folks I follow, it is strictly toy business. That is what my Instagram is for, and uh, it will always be that way. So yeah, go get one if you don't have one. Uh, if you do have one, go follow man cave collectible reviews it's it's a pretty cool instagram i post a lot of pictures of my collection you know things that you don't maybe you don't see in the videos i'll post pictures of those things to the instagram page so i think it'd be a cool fun little place uh, for the community to just check out some of my collection if that's something you're interested in but again the 5,000 subscriber giveaway will take place on instagram so that's where you're going to want to go Anyways, enough babbling, enough talk. We've kind of done our house cleaning for the day. Uh, let's talk about where we're going. So right now we're headed to a Walmart in Mooresville. Uh, we've been to this one a couple times in the last couple of weeks. It's normally pretty good for finding something. Um, fairly, they do a good job of stocking this one, I would say. And then we're gonna check out also the Target over here in Mooresville to kind of start off our toy hunt. And then we'll see where we go from there. But we'll definitely uh, have some good stops as always along our toy hunt journey here. So let's go ahead, we'll step on in Walmart here and see what they got on the pigs. We are at the Mooresville NECA section and check this out. Lots of foot soldier two packs. So we will definitely take one of those as I think the foot soldiers look pretty amazing from that line. So we'll definitely grab one. Even got some Godzilla. Make a Godzilla up in here, which I have not seen in a while. That's the Tokyo SOS and the Godzilla. Now, and I can't ever pronounce that, but if I got a school country over here. Check that out. Rocky Nigo there. It's pretty cool. A couple Rockies, a couple Star Tracks back in there. One of my buddies got me for pronouncing, is it Picard? Pickard? Got me for pronouncing it incorrectly. So, got Chucky up here, Texas Chainsaw Massacre behind it, and some McFarlane stuff. Here Academia. Q Figs. Man, super pumped about this. Right out of the gate. In the toy section now. Kind of minions. Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, pretty, pretty empty. King Kong got a little bit of a restock. There's kind of that cool uh, Hong Kong battle paint scheme that they've done. Yeah, I got I think 
last time we were here, I think that was pretty empty. Got the real Ghostbusters, the Kenny Ghostbusters stuff, which we've been seeing for a long time on shelves now. Got a massive stock of the uh, Marvel Legends waves. You can see there on the sides of the packages. But all we got so tons of that. We think that's a really good looking Magneto. Not for my collection, I don't need him, but can't deny how well they did on that one. We got the Titan Hero Series. T-Rex pretty angry back here behind me. And, uh, pretty empty over here in the Transformer section. But we do got Hardhead down here, which was one of the headmasters I wanted. Got a lot of Hardhead down here. Straight my back up. It says 20 bucks per. I may go ahead and grab this. It'll be an expensive trip. Walmart here. All right. Got all the Halo stuff over here. Might be something new there. Vanish Ghost with Elite Warlord. Might be something new. We got an energy sword down there. Got some Power Rangers over here, which I think I've seen these last time we were here. Blue, black, and red versions. Cygor there. We got an SPD Pink Ranger up there. There's the Angry T Rex. It's been fussing. Luigi laying on the ground. Some Pokemon. Got some uh, Wave 1 over here. Looks like it's all just Skeletor and He-Man, Battle Cats. Oh man, look right there. That gun it. There it is. Let's see how his paint looks. Got some paint issues going on on him. That might save me from buying this one. I've only got one that I can see. So we may hang it, hold out, or I'll check up there. And see if they got any across the thing up there. Uh, I guess I could go ahead and, and get it, but we're going to Target too. We'll check Target. Target's been having them pretty consistently as well. Got some Quill. There's the Luke Hoff. Han Solo Indoor. Admiral Akbar. Got a Royal Guard back in there. And then the wrestling section here. We got an Elite Rock and a pair of uh, light up nail clippers over here. All right, I think that's it. Let's grab. I got to decide on Hardhead. I'm just not sure I want Hardhead. He's not. He's not season one. I don't remember him from the movie. I'll decide on that. But we are 100% getting that. So getting this toy hunt started off with a bang, man. Coming up with the. Uh, the Foot Soldier 2-pack from the movie. Um, I'd seen that 2-pack a long, long time ago and didn't jump on it, um, but it's got the weapons rack and everything. I've only got one Foot Soldier from my movie collection, so I figured I might as well go ahead and get the 2-pack um, while I can. So we got it. Great find. That Morph of Walmart just seems to always have something. That's where I found the Shadow Shredder on the last toy hunt was at that Walmart. So they just constantly are restocking their toy and uh, NECA sections. But over here near it, there's an Ollie's. And I've heard rumor here that Ollie's has the Earthrise Optimus Prime for like 20 bucks. Uh, so I am definitely gonna go in this Ollie's. We're gonna hunt it. Uh, I don't do Ollie's a whole lot. I've just never had much luck at it. And the hunt, the times that I've went in and done hunt videos, it just never was really anything in there. Um, more than like the cheap, you know, $10 toys that, uh, you know, Walmart and places like that seem to can't sell either. So 
We're going to run in and just see if we can just somehow get lucky and find that Earthrise Optimus. I have an Earthrise Optimus, but I'd love to have one to uh, display in the uh, truck mode. I've also ordered a uh, an upgrade kit for the Earthrise Optimus uh, truck mode as well. So we'll see if we can find one. Let's head on inside. Brand toys buyout. And uh, I don't know, that might be giving it a little more credit than it might be worth based on what I'm seeing in here right now. Unless we find our options. But this don't look like anything. Look like anything we would be wanting probably as adult collectors. Ranging from 5,000 to 12,000 BTUs. You can get a 10,000 BTU to shield or PC for just $299.99. Well, the fancy store still charge you a four box for the very same thing. And that's just one example of oh, the Maybe there's another toy section somewhere. These bargains will they blow out of here. And there you go. They're gone. 13 bucks for that. Well, let's go look. There's a toy aisle somewhere. There's a toy aisle, but I don't know. Jenna, for eight bucks. I'm just gonna scroll down through this so you guys can, can see some of what we got here. I do got some. Some more Star Wars over here. Let's see what we got. Val for six dollars. More Jenna. Uh, looks like just Jenna and Val. Get the clearance out. Shazam. There's a Marvel's Capcom. Is it all Black Widow and Ryu? It looks yeah, all Black Widow and Ryu. Mega Man's fully charged. Some Ultimates in there. Overwatch Ultimates. Ain't looking too good. A couple. And Jeffrey, the Toys R Us Jeffrey. Now that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's uh, something I've never seen before. Those are us by Schleck. Then you got like all that mess, but that's just like puzzles and games and check around, make sure there's not another aisle somewhere. So Ollie's was exactly what I assumed it would be. Um, you know, if we come across any more Ollie's in the next uh, couple toy hunts, we'll definitely try to stop in and just see if we can happen to come across that $20 Earthrise Optimus. Um, I really would like to pick up another one for the collection just for the purposes of uh, being able to put the upgrade kit on the truck mode and then have my other one in, you know, robot mode. But um, anyways, if not, we'll just have to go to the secondary market. Maybe with them hitting Ollie's at $20, maybe their kind of secondary market prices will come down just a little bit. Anyways, we are over here at a Target. Let's run on in Target. Let's see what we can find. Maybe some TMNT. Uh, I'd gotten word that this Target had TMNT in the back and was just awaiting uh, the neck of vendor to come and actually put them out. So we'll see. I, I don't have my hopes super high, but hey, you never know. I've, I've found TMNT on days that I wasn't expecting to find TMNT. So let's go see what we got. All right, guys, over here in the NECA section. Is available now. I don't know what this is. Oh, oh that's the Halloween three pack.
So continuing on our hunt, we are headed out to a Target at North Lake uh, Mall, uh, but we need a little bit of discussion time. So we're gonna do that here as we are going down the road. Um, two items to cover. So number one, uh, you know, Man Cave Collectible has had no luck finding the four pack. Um, we did see that the two frogs uh, from the neck of TMNT line were found first in Charlotte, North Carolina. So that was pretty cool. Uh, it's actually at a target that we hunt uh, periodically. Uh, somebody found them and posted them out on social media. That was the first time I've seen them be found in the United States of America. So they're maybe, maybe somewhere on the West Coast that just never made it social media wise uh, over here to us. But uh, that was the first time I'd seen them found was there in Charlotte. So that was pretty cool. They're dropping, so we need to be getting out, hunting, looking for those. Uh, so that's, we're definitely, you know, trying to do that. But as far as from a discussion topic standpoint, um, you know, be patient on those. I, I've just seen some just stupid prices on these TMNT four packs. And I really believe that NEC is gonna try to get a pre-order out there for us at some point. Um, they've done a good job of that so far. Just about everything, maybe outside of the, maybe outside of like the first wave or two has pretty much gotten some type of pre-order. So just be patient. Don't go be paying the $253, $350 for this four pack. That's just, that's dumb money uh, to, to go and drop that. Um, you know, you can always go and drop that down the road if it doesn't happen. If we don't get a pre-order or we don't get restocks, you can always go and you know, drop that money. I don't see it really going any higher than that. The uh, the dark, the darker skinned uh, turtles that originally come out, they're st that. Let's see, that's uh, that's actually let's see, that's actually eight figures um, that come in that because it's like what it's Leo and Shredder and maybe one of them in a foot soldier. The original two packs, you know, for the turtles, um, dark skin. You know, you can get that whole set for I don't know, six hundred bucks maybe, five six hundred dollars for the for the whole set of eight figures. So I don't see this four pack going any higher than where it is right now. That's just my opinion. That is Man Cave Collectible Reviews opinion. So you know, take that for what it's worth. But I definitely think you should be patient. I'm going to be patient. I'm not going to pay secondary pricing for them, even if I can't find them. Um, but you know, we're going to keep looking. We're going to sure give it a good effort. The second thing, we're getting very close to 5,000 subscribers. Uh, to give a little more detail to that, um, really the only way you're gonna know what's going on with this is to watch these toy hunt videos. That's where I'm embedding the information on the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. We got some cool stuff to give away. We got some WWE Ultimate figures. We've got Nintendo uh, Game & Watch. Uh, it's like a $50 you know, Nintendo Game & Watch. Um, so we're trying to give away some good stuff. I think I'm gonna throw in a uh, NECA Krang figure. Um, I have two of them, so I'm going to throw one in uh, as an option. But I think what we're going to do, we're going to have two winners uh, for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. We're going to do it over on Instagram. So if you are uh, not following me on Instagram, you want to go hunt me down, follow me on Instagram. That's where we're going to do it. That's where we're going to announce it. Uh, so if you don't have an Instagram, go create your one. Uh, if, if you just need to create one for this, then do it. You know, uh, I don't, I'm not going to police if you delete it after, uh, the giveaway's over. So, you know, whatever you got to do, try to get in on the giveaway. It's going to be cool. I'm going to have a lot of options, uh, is what I'm going to do. You know, we're going to have Nintendo in there. We're going to have, uh, wrestling figures. We might throw in some kind of Marvel Le Legends options. Um, you know, we're going to have an probably the neck of crane so what i'm gonna do is those two winners i'm gonna come to each of you we'll select the winner i'll come to you in the dms on instagram you'll be able to pick the item you want out of that group then we'll select the second winner and the second winner will get to pick the item that they want out of what is left from the giveaway so i'm not gonna give away the whole farm but i'm gonna let you pick what you want out of the options that are there. So at some point here, coming up pretty soon, we'll be posting kind of a teaser image on the Instagram page, just showing all the options that are gonna be there. 
And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to be able to kind of hit all the collectors where they need it. You know, I don't want to give away a, uh, you know, a, a WWE Ultimate figure to a guy that collects Marvel Legends and he has no interest in a WWE Ultimate figure. So I want to have options for you guys to where you can kind of pick what you want for the two winners. So, I don't know. What do y'all think of that? Drop that in the comments. Is that cool? I, I, I don't see a lot of giveaways doing it that way. I kind of see I see a lot of giveaways where it's kind of like, we're going to force on you what we want to give away. So, if we want to give away, you know, this specific figure, we don't, it doesn't matter if you collect Star Wars. It doesn't matter if you collect Marvel Legends. You're, you're getting this. This is the giveaway item. I, you know, for me, I that's cool i think anybody willing to give away something that's cool it's it's coming out of their own pocket they're giving it away so that's cool but i i feel like it'd just be cool to give you guys the option of what you want out of kind of a a, a list of things so you can kind of pick something that maybe can fit into your collection and make it a little more worthwhile for you just my thought so that's how we're going to do it Anyways, we are uh, going to hit up a Target here. We're going to hit up a Walmart, a couple other stores maybe. I'll try to find maybe a toy shop to throw in here somewhere that we hadn't hunted in a while. Uh, so, yeah, hang in there with me. We'll do a haul uh, video at the end where, uh, you know, you'll kind of see what we picked up along this toy hunt video, which if you've been watching, you already know some of the things we picked up. Um, but, anyways, let's head on in Target see what we can find. Okay, guys, we are over in the NECA section. And uh, looks like our pretty standard uh, NECA toys over here. I'm not seeing nothing, uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Got our Kongs, Halloween, Jason and Freddy's, little SpongeBob action going on there. And then uh, this is North Lake, so they got kind of this like second area down here. Uh, the Super 7s, TMNT Turtles there. Those are pretty cool, man. Like, there's kind of a part of me that wants to like, pick some of those up if they were unpunched, maybe. Oh, man, look at this. Look at that. Super 7 Power Rangers already dropping. There's Wolfman. The Son of Frankenstein. Chainsaw Massacre. And up here, Planet of the Apes. There's young Frankenstein. More fun of the apes. Man, the Super 7 is uh, on it here today. Couple more here. All the same ones we already seen. Got the Jet Jaguar figure there. But nothing that ton of Stan Lee's, Charlie's Angels, Peter, more Planet of the Apes, there's the Rocketeer, that's one that I guess we've seen that, but no turtles guys, no turtles, no frogs, there's the spawn, there's the, uh, the big 12 inch Zuku Midoriya, all <laughs> completely jacked, didn't do too well in shipping, I guess. So that's it for the NECA section. Let's head over to the toys. All right, got the uh, Super 7s. Look at this, check this out here. There is the Batman Beyond. Yeah, that's a new one there. That's new. And then we got the uh, I'm not sure what this is. The White Knight Red Edition. Okay. So that's not not one I'm familiar with, but I, I don't collect the uh guy got a lot of the a lot of the uh so I think what they're doing, this is not like a full wave, they're gonna release this guy like over time. So you're gonna get the one figure, and at a later time you'll get the next figure. I think that's how they're doing those, uh yeah, if you're wanting to uh, collect that build a figure, definitely get out and get the hunting. Lots of Super 7 restocks. Got some uh, Studio 86 restocks there.
Heading on around. Uh oh, I see some new, some new stuff here. Check this out, Big Van Vader. That's the first time uh, that I've actually seen him out. Pretty cool. That was not me passing gas. That was uh, something over here. I don't know what it was, but Karga, Quill, more Quills up there. It's pretty cool. We haven't seen her very many times. Ray, Dark Side version. Not the flock and not the flock i think the flock's a walmart exclusive anyway so it wouldn't be here at target but we are going to go to a walmart so we'll check and see let's see if all these are wave ones yep check this out here we got the attorney of minis which i think i've got all those but the evil limb Olive Loom, He Man's and Skeletors. We picked up the sky sled, the last stop. Disney Pixar stuff. Velociraptor. Is that a new one? Pretty cool looking. I like that paint deck. Uh, I've seen him before. And that Pterodon, Triceratops. stuff over here so the jazzware completely swap over now that now that hasbro is doing the six inch is jazzware's completely swapped over to the 3.75 or four inch somebody drop that in the comments let me know below i'd be interested to know if that's what's happened hair bones and then like yoshi shy guy Green toad up there. Got the old classic Sonic and Tails there. That looks like it for Target. Guys, let's head to the next stop. So that Target was stocked. That was a very, very well stocked Target. We saw the DC, the new, brand new DC Multiverse stuff. Um, we saw the Big Van Vader. Uh, with WWE Elites. Those are brand new figures that just come out. Uh, they literally just dropped. So it was cool to see those on the shelves already. Um, you know, I didn't pick up the Big Van Vader. I'm, I'm at a crossroads in my collection right now. I hadn't really discussed it a lot on the channel. I was thinking about maybe discussing it during a haul video, but I'm, I'm into too many things. I collect way too many lines and, and too much stuff. I'm, I'm in modern, I'm in vintage, I'm just all over the map. And WWE Elites and Ultimates is kind of an area where it's kind of like, I like them, but I don't know if I'm loving them. I don't know if I'm loving collecting them. As much as I love wrestling and loved it as a kid, I enjoy watching it now, uh, I just don't know that it's a line that I want to continue. Uh, now that I've kind of gotten into it some, picked up some, I, you know, really, Man Cave Collectible Reviews really needs to narrow down the collection, just in general anyways. If you watch my videos, you watch my haul videos, you can see how I'm all over the map. I am just in so many different lines that it's impossible to ever complete anything, you know, I don't know. I, let me know, do you ever have those moments in your collecting hobby where it's just like i'm just collecting too much why am i collecting this you know why am i collecting that like i don't love it i'm just collecting it because i like it and and i i don't know you know i'm i think i collect too many things that i like and and i what i really need to do is just focus on the things that i love so i don't know you know let, let me know is that surely i'm not the only one out there with that problem that uh you know, I, I really, I love, I, I like everything. That's my problem is I, you know, I go into a toy shop or I walk into Walmarts and Targets and I see these lines and I like them all, but I might start showing some self-control and picking up what I love and what I want to collect and what I want to walk in my man cave and see on my shelf every, you know, every day. Uh, so, you know, it may be a situation, there may be a time coming in the man cave here very soon where we just kind of do a clean out. You know, I go through there and I clean out what I don't love 
and I really narrowed down even all the way down to like writing on a piece of paper. Like, all right, here's what you're going to collect. These are the lines you're going to collect. If it's not within these parameters, we're going to look at it. We're going to talk about it. We'll say how, how pretty it is, but we ain't buying it. So, you know, I've, I've got to get to that point in my collecting, uh, you know, hobby here because I, I don't have a mansion to put all this stuff in. So, you know, I can buy, 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 no problem there. Uh, but I'm not going to go and, you know, buy a, a bigger house so that I can have a, you know, 2,500 square foot man cave to fit all this mess that I'm buying in. So, you know, I've got to, uh, you know, dial it back some and, and really just find what, what I'm going to focus on and, and make sure it's what I love and what I want to really put my money and my, my time, hobby, my investment into. Uh, so every six months, I'm not going through my collection and doing a clean out and selling off half the collection, you know, so I don't know. Let me know. Do you guys ever have that problem? Is that a problem that seems to be normal out in our hobby? Um, I don't know. Let me know. Drop it in the comments. We're now to Walmart. So I want to run in, see what we can find at Walmart. Uh, you know, the other day we found the uh, uh, Foot Soldier 2-pack. That was a cool find. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky, find something in the NECA section. Uh, you know, maybe find some, uh, you know, Masters of the WWE figures or Origins figures in here. Let's run on inside, see what we can find. All right, guys. We are in our old faithful here, Walmart Calibridge. We... We hunt this one about every time we go out. Um, just because I always seem to have good luck here. I thought these were only Target. I've never seen one of those at Walmart. And then, what is the Fuggler Monsters? Wow. That is uh, pretty, pretty nasty stuff right there. Can't say I've ever seen those. High Ranger Zord. Stay puff up there. Not too stock. Look at all these empty pegs down through here, man. This is look at that. Got a lone frog man right there. Hey, there's one we need. We actually need her. Golly, she's got that. She got a dot right on her nose, man. That's I need her, but I I don't know if I want that dot on her nose. I don't know, we'll have to think about that. I'm weird about QC issues uh, with my figures. Especially one like that, that's just completely obvious and you can't really hide it in any way. I don't know, a magic eraser might take it off, it may not, you know, so it's kind of like, I'd almost rather just pass on it. And the red figures are just hanging around. We've seen these, um, you know, a good bit hanging around here. Eyebrow, hardhead. Looks like uh, we got skull cruncher there. So the headmasters are starting to hang around some. We're starting to see them more and more in different places. And, uh, coming on around here. Here's our uh, battle cats. All these are wave one. There's a Tila there, which we don't see her very often. Wrestling section's pretty picked over. So yeah, let's head back to the uh, NECA section and uh, see if we got any luck back there. All right, so here we are in the uh, NECA section here. So if we see anything new, I do see one thing new, which is this two-pack here. I don't know if I've seen that out yet. Batman and the Joker, and uh, kind of got like that Joker blood, you know, all over them. Batman's kind of decorated in that green Joker blood. That's from Arkham Asylum, man. That's what a great video game that is. Got some Batman, Deathstroke. Nothing really new here, though. It's pretty much stuff we've been seeing, uh, you know, for the most part. Got brown in there. I think all the Nego stuff is all stuff we've seen. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, head to our next stop. 
All right, guys, moving on. We are at a Target over in Gastonia. We're continuing our hunt for TMNT NECA figures, uh, which we've had no luck so far uh, with outside of some movie figures that we found earlier. Um, and then, uh, you know, any kind of uh, MOTU Origins figures. We've got multiple of those that we're looking for. You know, some of like the uh, deluxe packaging, like the Ram Man, different things uh, that are on deluxe cards. So we're looking for those. Let's run on inside this Target, see if we can have any luck. All right, guys, we'll start off in the NECA section over here. Got some Rocketeer. I guess we've already seen that so far. Got some TMNT pins up there. Pin Club, something new. Some of the new Super 7 stuff. Power Rangers. Um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That's new, there's Buffy. Uh, that likeness, I've definitely seen better. China, the large 15 inch. There's some turtles. Got a Splinter and Baxter there. Some Witcher, Stan Lee. Oh, there's a Dr. McCoy. That's one I haven't seen yet, I don't think. Or the Salt Vampire. This might be new. regular old stuff down here. Yeah, Go face up here. Alright. Let's head on over to the toy section. All the Jokers and the Batman back there. Transformers ain't really anything new there. Oh. Got the uh, new Marvel Legends wave. Some of the and the Spider-Verse way there. And then turning on around, got some Battle Cat. And the video game stuff. section so we got some elites over here Nikolai, China, a bunch of basics couple scouts live down there got Thor okay not the flock this at Walmart not these are same ones we always see. Somebody did say the other day that every shipment gets a He-Man and a Skeletor, so that's probably some of the reason. Now we got Jurassic World. Not much going on here. Let's head to our next stop is going to be a toy shop, so it should be pretty cool. All right, guys, so uh, Target didn't really have anything uh, that we were looking for. No turtles. Well, it did have the Splinter and Baxter 2-pack, but that's been out forever. We've seen that on shelves for a long time now. Um, but now we are at Red Genesis in Gastonia, North Carolina. So the well, last time we come and saw uh, Red over here at Red Genesis was he had only been open for like four or five days, brand new toy store. So now I want to say maybe he's been open about a month and a half, maybe, maybe two months. Um, God, the beard's crazy right now, but uh, just want to go in here and kind of see what he's got. I think he's probably got some new stuff that we can check out. So let's run on inside. Let's see what new is on the shelves in Red Genesis. Guys, okay, so we'll start over here with 
Got some mask. Pretty cool. Take these out. My pet monsters. Those are sweet right there. With the, the gray condition too. Those are awesome. Oh, that's a cool venom too right there. A lot of kinds of venom. And then uh Batman projector gun. Ground shot, nice steady. Got some individual cards here for NES. Original and uh, Tommy there. Cool stuff here. I don't know about that castle. Hmm. That's me. That's the sky flip. Or not the flight version, just the regular. Where's Waldo? Dragon Ball Z.
All right, guys, we are back in the man cave with another successful toy hunt. We picked up some cool stuff. One thing I got a surprise here in my toy haul, so we'll we'll take a look at that. But, um, yeah, we had a good hunt. Uh, I kind of gave some more details on the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. We are going to throw this guy in there as an option for you if you were to win that uh, 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So if you um you know miss that portion of the video i suggest you go back and find it uh that's how we're going to do the 5,000 subscriber giveaway the instructions what you need to do is going to be embedded in the toy hunt videos so make sure you're watching the toy hunt videos from now until the point that we reach 5,000 subscribers i think we need 300 plus a little over 300 in order to get there we're we're moving at about 150 subscribers a week so a couple couple weeks we'll be there you know so won't take long um let's go ahead and look at the haul that we picked up on this toy hunt so the first thing we found was the uh movie foot soldier two pack so this is one i wasn't real sure i wanted um i've already got a foot soldier uh just a, an individually packed foot soldier that i got from gamestop a long time ago when they first come out but this has like a weapons rack with it and stuff so i thought maybe this would be kind of a cool uh, piece to add a little bit of display uh, kind of to the right here you can actually see uh, the movie stuff right here uh, so to add just a little bit of uh, you know dio type feel to it i may have a dio done for this shelf at some point uh, right here i've got another dio coming that'll be for our super seven uh, figures and then uh, obviously the cartoon turtles we've got the NECA diorama the, the street scene diorama will be coming the cartoon version so maybe the movie stuff needs one our guy over at would you kindly studios who's met, built some dios for me we may be in talks with him here soon maybe to see about coming up with some kind of diorama for the movie stuff next up and this is one that on my last toy hunt video a lot of you guys left in the comments you gotta get pick this guy up why are you leaving him why do you not want him we got Prince Adam with the sky sled. So, you know, this is one that I passed on when I was collecting origin figures originally. Uh, and then I sold that collection off. I just wasn't sure I wanted him again, really more than anything, just from a space standpoint. If I started collecting the, um, you know, the vehicles, that's a real space commitment. Uh, I'm already going to do the castle. I'm going to do the MOTU Origins castle. We got that pre-ordered. So when you start throwing in vehicles too, you really got to start talking about space and do you have the space to really be able to display all these? I don't want to buy this stuff and not be able to display it because I don't have space. Uh, but we went ahead and got the sky sled. It is iconic enough that it's probably something you need to have in your collection. So we went ahead and picked it up. Maybe we'll be able to do a review on the channel on this one. Now the last item you guys did not see me actually pick up. Uh, and that was because we went over to see our buddy Jimmy at Back in Time Collectibles. Uh, he was out hunting for himself and happened to come across a couple of these and grab one for himself, grab one for me, which was really, really cool of him to do. And I'm very grateful of that. Uh, very grateful to him for that. So uh, Back in Time Collectibles, he pops up in our toy hunts about once a month, once every five or six weeks. Uh, we go out and see Jimmy at Back in Time. A lot of you guys are probably familiar with him. A lot of you guys have done business with him uh, over the phone or, you know, by internet. So uh, anyways, good guy, has a great shop over there uh, that I do a lot of business with. He picked me up the frogs, Rasput Rasputin and Genghis. Make sure I'm saying Rasputin right. Uh, picked these up for me uh was able to grab himself one for his own collection as well which was cool so uh yeah just really happy to have these guys we had no luck finding them ourselves we had no luck finding the tmnt four pack uh which the four pack you know i want it but i don't want it as bad as i wanted these guys because i already have the turtles so 
I don't, you know, that's the first thing really NECA has put out that I would say, if I don't get it, it's not the end of the world. And that's only because it's just a reissue of the Turtles with the jackets. So it's cool. Don't get me wrong. If you got it, I'm jealous of you. I want to find it. But it won't be the end of the world, and I'm absolutely not paying $350, $400 for it. So being able to get these guys, that definitely got me caught up to where I want to be in the NECA collection. Uh, I'm sure we got the ultimate uh, foot soldier. He's on the back of this right here. So I'm sure he's coming very soon. Uh, we did see the Splinter and Baxter two-pack. We saw that at one of the last targets that we stopped at. And then the Vernon and the Rat King we picked up right when it first came out. So anyways, there you go. Let me know what you guys thought of this toy hunt. Drop those comments down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this toy hunt. Again, if you're interested in the 5,000 subscriber giveaway, go back and check it out. Uh, I've embedded that. Those instructions are kind of a little bit of the information about it have been embedded into our toy hunt videos. So you're going to want to make sure you're watching them through. In fact, that's the reason I'm doing that is because I'm wanting to reward the guys who are actually watching these videos. Um, if you take the time to watch a 50 minute video, then I want to, I want to give you an opportunity to win something cool. You know, that's just kind of the way I look at it. So we're not going to do like a giveaway video because everybody and their mom's going to try to get something for free. So my goal here is to try to give it to somebody who's truly been supporting the channel. You know, that's, that's really what I want to do. And this is not about just trying to pick up new subscribers. And if I wanted that, I could just go do a video that says, Hey, 5,000 subscriber giveaway, everybody subscribe. And you do that and you pick up subscribers really easy and quick because people want to, you know, get free stuff. Uh, so that's kind of why I'm hiding them inside my videos because I don't really want guys just subscribing to me because they want a free TMNT crane. You know, I, I don't, I don't need that. Uh, and, and I, I want to be able to give it to the guys who, who do support the channel and have been supporting the channel for a long time. So anyways, that's what we're doing. Hit the like button, comments down below. If you're not a subscriber, we'd love to have you as part of this Man Cave Collectibles team. We do toy hunts all the time, review videos on a lot of the new cooler stuff that comes out. Yeah, check out my content if you're not familiar with it. I hope the rest of you guys, hope y'all have a good rest of your weekend. Until next time.